Hey, I'm Alex from Zaxworks, here to show you two more new features of 3D Pro Animator 8. If you didn't receive this email we're looking at here, sign up for our newsletter using the link below this video. If you want to read through this email, you can find it on our blog at zaxworks.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest announcements. Alright, so last time we talked about our new reactor rendering system. That is just real time for GPU rendering and near real time for ray trace rendering. We also talked about the new camera focus feature and how a depth blur can make your images look extremely real and extremely fast. If you haven't watched that video, click here to watch it now. In today's video, we'll be talking about two more features of 3D Pro Animator 8. The first thing we're talking about is called instancing. So right here we have instancing, new feature number three. Instancing in its simplest terms is object duplication. However, it duplicates objects in a way that's incredibly fast and makes it easy to populate a scene with hundreds or even thousands of objects and still keep the rendering speed nice and fast. There's a lot more to it than just duplicating objects, so keep watching and I'll show you the power of instancing in action. The next big feature that we're going to be taking a look at is object distribution. And what that is, is you can use object distribution to take hundreds or thousands of one instance object or multiple instance objects and use them to build environments or arrange them into the shape of other objects. For instance, in this picture, let's go up to the top picture again, in this picture right here we have one sphere that was duplicated 8,000 times and then arranged into the shape of this face and this number 8. And the miracle of Pro Animator is that you can then transition from one to the other in really interesting ways. So these little ghost pictures back here are showing them actually animating from one to the next. And I'll be showing you that live right now, so stick around. Okay, so enough with the talking. Let's jump into the program and see the instancing and distribution in action. Alright, so now that we are in the program, let's take a look at our project. So we have our face right here that is made up of a bunch of spheres, and we have our number here. Um, and when we animate between the two, so we see our balls swarm around and then come back together to form our number 8. So look at that, that looks really nice, and I'm going to show you how easy this is. So all this is, uh, we go to our first pose here, and these are our new instant scene features right here. Literally it says number of instances, you get a number and you get a choice of how you want to instance it. So you can go alternating where if it has A, B, and C, it'll go A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, something like that. Um, if it has grouped, it's going to go A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 if you have only nine instances. Um, so all the A's are grouped together, all the B's are grouped together. Um, and if you go random, it's just going to be random C. So, you know, A, C, B, A, B, A, you know, something like that. So there you go. Um, so we have alternating, turn on, and then we have our distribution panel right here. And so this has been around, but we have completely revamped it and added more and more distributions. Um, so we have uh, some 3D distributions now. Before we only had 2D. We had like circle and we had square, but now we have sphere, which is 3D. We have cube, which is 3D, and we have 3D objects. So you can actually instance it to the vertices of any 3D object you want. That's how we're getting this face right here. Um, and so with this 3, 3D object vertices, it's going to have all the objects facing upwards um, and put into the vertices. 3D object vertices fanned is going to have all the objects put into the vertices but be facing towards the middle, but facing outwards. And so, uh, for instance, let's come over here. Uh, we can grab, we can do a little twirly down, and notice our primitive one right here looks a little dimmed out. Well, that's because it is the master. So that's our master. So we're going to change our master. And when we have that, we can click on that, come over here to our object controls, and just come down here to our primitive settings and pick any one of these. So this might go off the bottom of the screen, but I'm just going to change this to like a torus. And what that's going to do is it's going to change all of our objects. And um, if I come up here actually to a cone, we can now see with um, with fanned, all of our cones are pointing outwards from the middle. And so that gives us a really cool, you know, outwards look, a fanned look. That's what it's, you know, fanned. Um, and so there you go. So that's what the 3D object vertices fan does. Um, and so you can really pick any single object you can possibly think of. Um, you can get them off of other sites. I got this face off of just some free download sites. So it's uh, you know a lot of people giving away some free stuff out there that is really awesome um, so there you go there we have it alright so let's come over here to our second pose 
Um, and now we have our number eight. And notice this number down here, we have the 7,973. And notice the 7,973 is exactly the same. And what it is is uh, every single time you choose a different object, uh, it'll tell you how many vertices it has. And so you can have the you can, so you can type in the exact number that you need. Uh, so you don't have any extra vertices or any fewer vertices than you need. So there you go. So that's a really nice feature of filling up your object. Okay, so say we have um, our face here, but we don't really want a face. Let's go back to sphere. Um, and if it, instead, we want to just to make up a word. We just have our our balls here. We want to make up a word. So we can come down here, and let's. you have a whole list of other objects in your scene. These are the different tracks. So V8 corresponds to V8, face word corresponds to face word. And when you come to the track hierarchy, it gives you a list of all the different uh, objects on that track and so I can either pick the individual letters like I can pick the F right here and that'll make the F let's just zoom out that'll make the F or I can come here and just pick the entire text block and that'll make all the letters and so now I have the entire word face and then I can come to our second pose and choose something like V8 versus just eight so once again a hierarchy of text blocks was trying to show there and then we have v8 and of course our same motion is all kept for us no rework done at all and so notice we have some small balls we have some big balls um, and it's a really really cool look uh, that's happening incredibly fast um, right inside of 3d pro animator 8 so there you go so that is a great way of distributing your objects so let's take a look at another example Okay, so in this project we have uh, five words. Let's go to our object list. We have trust, honesty, integrity, valor, and truth. These are sort of the corporate movies. You need a corporate with some strong words. Here are the words you're going to have. And so I'm going to show you how to put these into a sphere and sort of look through them. So you could go ahead, instance them, and put them into place. However, I want to show you how flexible the instancing and distribution are. So I'm going to take four of these uh, five words. I'm going to put them onto a different track just by dragging them off. Turn this track off and then let's take our words track, turn on instancing just by turning on alternating and then put it into a sphere shell. And when I increase the size here we see deselect we have uh, our word trust duplicated over and over and over. Um, and remember instancing is a way of duplication uh, but it's super fast um, and super easy because now you can add to it. And so right here, um, I have my word honesty. And if I want honesty to be part of this, all I have to do is drag it right in, right underneath trust, let go, and now we have honesty updated. If we want integrity, let's drag integrity right on. If we want valor, let's drag a valor right on. And of course, let's do the last thing for truth. And now we see we have um, all of our objects uh, put into the sphere, and we can have a sort of nice um, camera move that kind of comes down and goes honesty truth you know have a have a voiceover or something like that uh, and it's you know a really easy way of getting that all set up um, and so the last thing I want to show is that say you want like the, all your words in place but you want all the word all the honesty words together or all the valor words together that's where grouped comes in so let's select grouped when we do that um, now we have all the trust in the front and they're sort of kind of broken into lines actually and so we can come through here and take a look at trust and honesty and integrity um, and of course we can turn on our auto render that I showed off last video um, and here let's go to our output and turn on our OpenGL renderer because we don't have anything that needs uh, our ray tracer and um, this is you know anti-alias looking really hot um, we can come over here to our preview workspace and now as we come through it all looks incredibly good so look at that we have reflections everything happening um, so that's it for this video so there you go I hope you can see how incredibly fun and useful instancing and distribution can be in your own projects remember you'll be able to buy the version 8 in a little less than two weeks in the meantime keep an eye out for our next email where we will reveal the next big features very soon till next time <laughs>